So today I'm going to show you how to access all the options available to your wireless router. Um, this, this tutorial is intended for Linksys routers but can be applied to any router. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is find your default gateway. This will allow us to connect to the interface of your router. And to do so we're going to need command prompt. If you already know where command prompt is you can go ahead and pop it up. But for those who don't you can use a quick keyboard shortcut. Hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press R. And the run box will pop up. Inside you can type in CMD for command and press OK. Command prompt pops right up. Alright. So now that you have the command prompt open, you can go ahead and click it and type in the letters IP C O N F I G. It's short for IP configuration. And press enter. This lists some useful information about your adapters on your computer. You're going to look for the adapter you're currently using. If it's wireless, you're going to look for wireless and if it's hardwire you're going to look for ethernet in this case I'm using a wireless so here's my default gateway and once you have this default gateway you can go ahead and open up a web browser any web browser will do for this tutorial I'll use Internet Explorer since most people are more familiar with it so open it up and in the address bar you're going to type in the default gateway you found earlier. In this case it was 192.168.54.79 so 192.168.54.79 and press enter. It's going to ask you for a password more than likely. Um, if you've never messed with the router before it probably has the default password still on it and quick way to find this would be to use your the manual that came with the router or if you don't have access to that anymore you can google it or you can use this website I've already got for you here I'll put it down in the link and you basically would just search for your router vendor Linksys or whatever it is and the model you can find the model on the bottom of the router and then once you have those two matched up you can find the username and password. These are the default and if it doesn't match up with yours you'll have to figure out what it is. And once you have the information you need you can go ahead and go back and type in the default gateway again. Press enter. should ask you for a username and a password. Go ahead and try out those usernames and passwords. And you should have access to your router this will allow you to change settings on here uh, the security of it, the name and also you can do port forwarding for certain games and whatever else you need